Chrissy Teigen has always been loved for entertaining others with her unfiltered, outspoken, and usually funny thoughts. In recent news, she's decided to use her platform to take a stand, reportedly donating 200 k to bail US protesters out of jail. When she's not spending her fortune on causes like this, her and her husband, John Legend, have also been keeping busy during the global pandemic buying up real estates. In the last couple months alone, the power couple added a second New York penthouse and a mansion in West Hollywood to their real estate portfolio. Chrissy Teigen is a model, TV personality, and author who's also well known for her social media presence. She's a mother of two and a wife to singer John legend since 2013. She's always tweeting, making people laugh and sharing her opinion and being so open on social media which has garnered her a lot of fans. We also know a huge passion of Chrissy's is cooking. For three to four tablespoons. <laughs> <laughs> now you know how hard it is for me to write her recipes. So this the is the chapter in the book one, takes the longest. One bowl of water. <laughs> one bowl of water. Her cookbook cravings became a New York Times bestseller leading to more books, a website and even her own line of cookware. We also see on Chrissy's Instagram that she really does love being in the kitchen and cooks up delicious recipes what seems like every day. Like I mentioned, recently Chrissy's outspoken nature led her to double an already 100k donation towards bailing up protesters. Going against the president, she tweeted, In celebration of whatever the F MAGA night is, I am committed to donating $100,000 to the bails of protesters across the country. When one user criticized her support of protesters calling them rioters and criminals, the star decided to double her donation to 200k. But what's been talked about a little less is that it seems Chrissy and John have used the quarantine as an excuse to buy more property. At the moment, Chrissy's net worth is not estimated at 75 million, and I don't think that even includes John's bank account. It's safe to say the two can afford both the new LA property, the New York property, and then some. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're doing another house tour here in Famous Entertainment. We'll be looking at where Chrissy Teigen calls home with her family, like her and John's main Beverly Hills mansion, their new properties, and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post. You can always be up to date. We've also done house tours and the likes of Demi Lovato and Selena Gomez, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Most recently, it was reported that Chrissy and John bought a $5.1 million contemporary house in West Hollywood, California, just a short distance from their current Beverly Hills home. Yes, they have two mansions here now. West Hollywood is a trendy area known for its high energy nightlife and the Sunset Strip here features the famous celeb hideaway Chateau Marmont. WeHo also offers some of the city's most popular restaurants. Apparently, Christy and John's new real estate purchase broke records for the neighborhood, and the home was just finished this year and built in the organic modern style. Christy's new West Hollywood home spans 3,500 square feet inside with 2,000 square feet of outdoor space. There are four beds and four baths, and according to the listing, the home is a combination of modern architecture and a natural feel full of light, space, and comfort. One reason I know Chrissy liked this home has gotta be because one of the features is the kitchen. Apparently, the incredible state-of-the-art kitchen is full of imported materials and high-end appliances, not to mention a beautiful 20-foot island perfect for all her food prep, as well as casual dining. Inside the wooden glass design house, it's full of natural light thanks to the floor-to-ceiling windows and offers an open concept floor. Light-colored woods keep up with the home's airy feel, like the floating wood staircase. There are many indoor-outdoor spaces on the main floor, especially like the expansive living and dining rooms. Although the yard outside isn't that big, there's a lot of flow between the spaces that makes everything look bigger. Chrissy and John can also enjoy the luxury master suite upstairs with a private balcony, custom walk-in closet with built-ins, and ensuite marble bathroom with dual vanities. Other features of the new LA home include a private office and a floating upstairs garden with a built-in drip system. Not to mention a fully automated smart home system to control all the lights, audio, and cameras easily. According to the listing, the couple will also have 2,000 square feet of decks and terraces, and of course, we can see the backyard also comes complete with a pool and spa. It's unknown why Christy and John would pick up this property when they already own a much larger, pricier home in the mountains above Beverly Hills, which we'll look at in just a minute. But it's speculated the new place could be a live and work situation. As in, John may use the place to work on his music while Christy takes advantage of the amazing 
amazing kitchen for her upcoming cooking show. Back in 2016, it was reported that Christy and John picked up a Beverly Hills mansion from none other than Rihanna. Prior to that, they were spending more time in their New York apartment, but baby number one was on the way and it was time to upsize their living situation. The couple paid a massive $14.1 million for this home, which was double the price Riri paid back in 2009. She sold in 2011, by the way. Anyways, the modern looking mansion seems to serve as the main family home and is fully gated, perched in the mountains over Beverly Hills, offering all of that celeb love, privacy, and security. Here, Christy enjoys picture perfect views of Los Angeles, including the ocean, city, and the canyon. Their Beverly Hills home sits on a 0.86 acre of land at the tail end of a private enclave and inside spends 8,520 square feet with 5 beds and 8 baths. Looking at photos, the mansion has clearly been designed in a contemporary style and was most recently renovated just before 2015. Walking in Chrissy and John's home, you'll find ceilings over 30 feet high and towering floor-to-ceiling windows throughout, letting in a ton of lights. There's an oversized entryway and attached step-down living room with wall-to-wall -wall glass that opens right up to the pool. The living room offers a double-sided fireplace that's shared with another lounge and dining area. This opens up to the massive, well-equipped kitchen that Chrissy uses all the time. There are two large islands, one with a cooktop and the other with a snack counter and a walk-in pantry. Upstairs, there's a lengthy hallway that looks as if it's floating since it's essentially a glass-lined bridge. It spans the upper level of the entryway and living room, linking the two wings upstairs. There's a number of guest and family bedrooms and of course, Chrissy and John's impressive master suite. The couple's master bedroom has extra high ceilings, a fireplace, sitting area, and wall-to-wall -wall glass doors that reveal one of the suite's two private balconies. Chrissy also has a giant walk-in closet that doubles as a dressing room with shoe shelves and wardrobes, which I'm definitely jealous of. Their master bath has a steam shower, sauna, and infinity tub with views overlooking Beverly Hills. Other features of Chrissy and John's home include a large and bright home office with views of the hills, a media lounge or den with built-in entertainment center, a state-of-the-art home theater, a fitness center with access to the yard, and a rec room with billiards table and full bar. Not to mention there's a flexi-use extra third floor space with floor-to-ceiling windows and views of the canyon. Of course, outside the couple's mansion, there's plenty of grassy lawns and terraces to take in surrounding views, as well as a large pool and spa. So we know Chrissy and John have not one but two Los Angeles homes now, but there's still more to their real estate. The couple also has some property in New York City. We wanted a place that was, you know, much more just homey and had more soul to it. When we were looking around town, uh, we stumbled upon this place, and uh, it's in a neighborhood that we really love. And we just felt like this was a great place for us to move into. Before they were parents, they already owned one penthouse in the Big Apple, which they showed Architectural Digest back in 2015. However, they sold this 2,000 square foot loft a few years ago for almost $4 million. In 2018, Chrissy and John picked up a Vintage Meets Modern Loft penthouse in the same boutique building as before for just over $9 million. This apartment dates back to the mid-1800s and spans 2,600 square feet with three beds and three baths. It's a top floor corner unit with white oak floors, 13 foot ceilings, exposed brick and wooded accents. There's a combination living and dining space with steel trim French doors that opens to balconies and an open concept kitchen. Some features you'll find in the couple's penthouse include a motorized 133 inch projection screen, two sided steel fireplace, wine cellar and 13 huge windows with automatic shades. The bedrooms are divided into two wings at opposite ends of the apartments, and the master suite has a walk-in closet and attached bathroom. Chrissy and John's penthouse also has a landscape rooftop terrace with several decks, some grassy lawn areas, an outdoor sound system, and a built-in grill. If that wasn't enough, during the pandemic we caught word of Chrissy and John buying another New York property. This time the couple expanded, purchasing a duplex penthouse loft that happens to be right next door to the other single penthouse we just looked at. They paid just under $8 million for their second home in Lower Manhattan's trendy area of Nolita and it spans 3,500 square feet with two beds, two full baths, and two half baths. Although this apartment is bigger than the other one, they're both upscale and impressive. The new duplex has 12 foot ceilings, more exposed brick walls, iron columns, and modern features like an automated window shade and multi-zone heating and cooling system. The staircase here looks like one of the features to me since it looks like it has custom design and detailed iron railings. It connects the two floors of the penthouse as well as the roof deck. Their main living area has a combination living and dining space that stretches almost 50 feet and of course there's a large open concept kitchen with giant walk-in pantry. Off the living room you'll find a spacious guest suite with walk-in closet and deluxe ensuite. Chrissy and John's master bedroom is even more luxurious coming with a small attached office and a 600 square foot media lounge. On the rooftop deck they can enjoy 1,500 square feet of space complete with an outdoor kitchen and wraparound views of surrounding rooftops. 
I don't know about you guys, but after seeing both of Chrissy and John's New York penthouses, I don't know which one is nicer. So now we've taken a look at all of Chrissy Teigen's properties, and clearly her and her hubby John have been busy acquiring some new ones both before and during this global pandemic. According to reports, the couple bought the latest New York penthouse in March and the West Hollywood spot even more recently in April. After seeing how Chrissy is living, which multi-million dollar home did you guys like the best? I think my fave has got to be their main home in Beverly Hills. Not only because it's the most spacious, I just think the design inside is really nice. Not to mention they have everything there from a movie theater, gym, and more. Be sure to let me know what you guys think down in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already so we can chat and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye! Thank you.